everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be playing around with these brand new blocks you see in my hands right now. Now Minecraft just released a snapshot for the Minecraft 116 nether update and this is by far my favorite of all these snapshots leading up to this nether update because we get so many awesome new blocks. Check these two out. Just these two but there's so much more but this is the uh, snapshot 20w 15a if you guys want to check it out i'm going to put a link in the description with the change log with all the details coming and you know what i build a house i build a minecraft 116 nether starter house if you want to have a nice place to stay in the nether this is going to be pretty cool let me show you and there it is. Oh, check it out. We're using all these awesome new blocks right here. So we're using the polished blackstone. We're using also the regular blackstone blocks, the polished blackstone bricks. Also, we have a strider pen right there. A couple striders here. Also, uh, the warp fungus on a stick so you could ride them around. Look how cool. These are like one of the coolest mobs ever. It looks like they're balding. These guys are cute. Uh, but also, this is uh, doubles as what I think maybe one of the bastions might look like for the piglins because uh, I added all these cool, awesome, uh, new chisel polished black stone blocks here. It looks like a little pig nose. Uh, and it, it could be. I don't know. We have no idea. We haven't seen what a bastion might look like. But this might be a little bit of a version of what it maybe it could be. I don't know. But for you guys, this will be an awesome starter house if you guys want to have one in the nether. Or you can bring this above ground and do some above ground builds with it. But you know what? Let me show you how to build this thing block for block. All right, and here we go with the block palette. So let me show you what we're working with. And I don't even know the names yet, so I'm trying to get used to them. But right here, we got the polished blackstone, the polished blackstone stairs, the slabs. We're also using regular blackstone, the blackstone stairs, the polished blackstone bricks, the chiseled polished blackstone, the polished blackstone brick wall, and then we're bringing in the nether brick stairs, nether brick slabs, some nether brick fence, and just a, a, a dark oak door. You don't have to use these two though. You can use uh, the nether doors, but I kind of like the way this dark oak looks with these dark stones. All right, and here we go with the dimensions. So everything's all set up in wool, so you can count up the blocks and set it up right now in your Minecraft worlds. If you notice the orange and white, that's going to be for the main structure. The blue corner bits that you see right there, those are going to be just to add more details to the foundation. The green and white is for our Strider pen, and the red is just for some dual furnaces that we have on each side, just to make it look a little cooler. All right, and right now we're gonna be starting out with the polished blackstone and the polished blackstone bricks. We're gonna go right from this corner and start lifting up blocks. So right here on this edge, we're gonna be going up by 13, but we're gonna be going up with the uh, polished, <laughs> let's get these names good, the polished blackstone and the polished blackstone brick. So polished blackstone and then the brick, polished and then the brick, and we're gonna go up by 13. So right now we got one, two, three, four. Let's go five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, oh, no, not you, 12 and 13. So we're up by 13. Now we're gonna do this to every corner bit. So right here is this corner, this corner, this corner here, and this corner here. If you notice, there's a five block gap space in between each corner. So this is technically just a seven by seven box. So let's lift this up by 13. All right, everything's up by 13. Now let's go right in front of all of these pillars, right where the blues are at, and let's lift these up by two with the polished uh, blackstone. So one and two, one and two, and on top, we're gonna put the same version of this block with the stair. And let's go ahead and put this on every corner. So two up, two up on each, two up on each, and then our stairs facing towards the block. So going all the way around, just, oops, just like so. All right, now that we have that set, let's go ahead and grab our polished blackstone and go right down this line right here, these five, Five here, cover this up and cover this part up right there. Then on this, this is the front right here. So we're gonna grab our polished blackstone slabs and just run a line right there so we can get easily inside. For this side here, we're gonna go right up on the top here. We're gonna put a full block and a slab, a full block and a slab. Also repeating it over here. So full block slab, full block and a slab right here. Now for the next step, we're gonna grab our uh, regular blackstone and we're gonna run this all the way down right from this line. So one, two, three, four, five, these five here, these in this corner, and just cover up this whole area right there. All right, once we have that in place, let's start lifting up some walls. So for right here, let's work on our front door. I'm gonna go up with this blackstone up by one, two, three, and four. Let's go up one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna put an upside down stair of the blackstone one over here, one on this side, and then right on the top, we're gonna cover that up. That's gonna be our big front door to get in. 
Now for this side and for this side, we're gonna make some windows. So let's go with one level right here, going all the way down. Let's go up one, two, three, four. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four here, four on this side, and then we're gonna make a window here, a small one. We're gonna use this time the polished blackstone step, and we're gonna put one right here and one on the top, giving you a too high window. And then for the rest, we're just gonna raise this all the way to the top. But we'll do that in a second. Let's just repeat this same thing we did here. Let's do it on this side. And there you go. This window is mirrored to this one. We have our big front door. Now for this section, let's grab our regular black stone and let's go up right from here. Another one, two, three, four, five, and six. Let's give it one spacer, go up by six. Let's put an upside down stair here, one, two, and on the third one, we're gonna have our way in right there, and then just cover the rest up. And then super simple, I'm gonna go ahead and lift this black stone all the way up to the top, matching this one. Let's cover everything up though. All right, now next up, what I wanna do, I wanna texture this black stone right here by adding extra bricks. So we're gonna use these bricks that we see right here, which is the polished black stone brick, and just come in in random spots and just uh, give a little bit of texturing. It's going up, give it little patches, just so it can look a little bit more unique and a little bit more worn in. So I'm gonna do this all the way around, going this way. Now next up, let's go right from this stair. Let's go up one, two. On the third one right here, we're gonna drop an upside down stair of the polished black stone. We're gonna go all the way around and add it right to this level. So it's two up right after the stair we have underneath. So going all the way around, oops, just like that. Now, once we have that in place, let's go ahead and grab our polished blackstone bricks and put them on the top, just like so. Then we're gonna grab the slab version of this and put it on the bottom level of that brick, just like that. And then we're gonna grab our soul fire lantern and put those underneath. And that looks awesome. Let's add those to the other two. Now, next thing we're gonna do, let's go right on the line where we have these bricks right here. Let's go right down this line and we're gonna add a little bit of an arch detail here. So we're gonna grab our full block of our polished black stone, put it one in this corner, one on this corner. Then we're gonna get the same version, but of slabs. We're gonna go up one and two, one and two. And then on the top, we're gonna go with another full block. So let's go ahead and repeat this all the way around. So let's do one, one more time here, two on each side. We're gonna go with our double slab, double slab, and one in the middle. So let's repeat this one more time over here. Four blocks on each side, double slab, another double, and a full in the middle. And then don't put any on this side. We're gonna attach this part of the build to this corner. All right, now the next thing we're gonna do, let's go up right from this level. We're gonna go up one, two, three, four, right here on this polished. We're gonna go down this line and add another one and two, one and two, and on top of this, we're gonna put a slab. So let's go ahead and repeat this all the way around. So right here, one and two, another two, slab in the center. Again, on this side, so one and two, one and two, and a slab in the center. And again, do it on this side. So one and two, two here, and a slab right in the center. Then next thing we're gonna do is let's grab the stair version of this one, so we have one right here. Let's put this upside down stair right on the polish, right on the line we have right in place over here and take this all the way around with upside down stairs on every corner bit where you see that polish. All right, now we're gonna go to every single one of these upside down stairs that we placed and let's do this pattern. Let's go with a polished chisel, polished, and a stair on top. Let's do it again right next to it. So a uh, polished chisel, polished, and a stair on top. Let's do this on every single corner. All right, there we go. We got all those corner bits in place. Now next up, let's grab a line of polished blackstone bricks and just go down this line. So one, two, three, four, and five, and let's just cover up this layer right here on the top. Now, once we do that, let's grab our polished stair again and go every other one up here. So one, two, and three, leaving those gaps open. Let's grab our polished again and put them right on top of this one, one next to it. We're gonna put a chisel in the center and then two more on this side. So let's repeat this on every corner. Next up, let's grab our polished blackstone and go every other one, just like so. Let's switch up the stair here with the polished blackstone brick and let's go every other one in those gaps upside down. Just change the texture just a little bit. Let's grab our polished blackstone stairs and put them on top of the same ones we had right there. So we're gonna get this pattern done and let's do it every other one, just like so. Now for up here, we could just cover this up with a regular black stone or you can mix and match. It doesn't really matter, you can go, these are gonna be covered up anyway. So I'm just gonna cover it all up with black stone. And then up top here, we're just gonna add a row of slabs. I used a combination of the blackstone slab and the brick slab going all the way around just to add a little bit more detail up here. Now let's focus on the outside part here. Let's do this. Let's grab our polished blackstone bricks and right from this line, we're gonna start counting. So right in between this little box frame here, we're gonna go down one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
Let's turn this corner, one, two, three, four, and then go ahead and connect that back there. So an extra one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And we have this uh, rectangle right there. Now let's take this up right now by five. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give it a mix of these two blocks, the blackstone brick and the regular blackstone. Let's take it up by five though. Next up, let's do the same thing we have in these corner bits going over the blues. Let's go up by two, two, two on this side, two over here, and then we're gonna put our polished stairs on top, matching exactly what we did on the other end. Now we're gonna take this up one more, and this is how we're gonna do it. Oh, that goes there. Let's take this up one more on this corner bit. We're gonna go up one. Let's go with a regular brick, another regular brick. Let's do a row of either brick or the blackstone on that corner. Let's go with a polished here, a polished here. Let's go with regular blackstone here and a regular brick on top, giving you this cool little effect. And now let's grab our nether brick stairs and let's go down this line right here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then just take this all the way up. It's gonna go up just like this, going all the way up and back. Let's take this all the way up to the end of the wall. There we go. And then in the center, we're gonna grab our slabs of that red nether brick and take it all the way back and connect just like so. And then let's repeat this over here on this side. There you go, so we have this side repeated to the other side. And then really super simple, we're just gonna grab our walls here, our polished blackstone brick wall. Let's go up in a pattern right here, right on top on this edge. And now let's do a quick window over here. It's gonna knock down one, two, three, and four. I'm gonna put a stair of our brick on the bottom, one on the top, and we have a two high window. The windows here, I'm just gonna put this out of just fences, our nether brick fences. We got one over here. And then I can go ahead and add one to this side and then we can go ahead and add one more to the side. Now for our dual chimneys, I'm gonna go right on this where the red is. So it's a two block gap space from this side and a three block gap space from this end. So we're gonna go right on the center and let's just do this out of stone, uh, out of the brick for now. So let's go up one, two, three, four. We're gonna knock these two out. So five, we're gonna knock these two out. So six, seven, eight. Right here on eight, we're gonna grab then our polished blackstone brick wall and just go around like so. Really super simple, it just looks pretty nice. And then we're gonna come back in here and just add a little bit of texturing by adding some of the regular blackstone. We can even come in here and add some of the uh, the polished one as well. It's all up to you guys how you wanna make this textured up, but something like that, super simple. Then we're just gonna repeat this on this side. Now for the strider pen, we're gonna go right down here with the same polish. We're just gonna go down one, two, three, and then turn this corner, give it a two block gap space, and then go another one, two, three, four, five, and then go back to connecting to that bit. Now we don't want them to escape, so I'm gonna put this as a full block, every other one going down this way. I'm gonna put one on this corner and one on this corner. Then we're gonna put slabs in those gaps that we missed going all the way around. And then grab a gate, you can put any gate. I kinda of like using the dark oak over here, so I'm gonna go with two, one, and two. And there's a little strider pen. Doesn't have to be for striders too, you can use piglings, hoglins, you can put anybody in here. Uh, but for right now, it looks pretty cool. Now for the final bit of detail, we can go ahead and add some crimson nylium right here. One, two, and three. I added some of the fungus on top, and then I just added the dark oak trapdoor going all the way around. And you don't have to use this trapdoor, you can use really the nether ones, that's fine. And then on the corner here, just a small wall and a lantern right there. For the door here to close it up, the way I have it, I have the dark oak trapdoors going up right here, going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Let's cover all this up just like so leave these two out and we're gonna put our dark oak door right there I really do like the way the dark oak looks with this uh, texture right there it looks really really cool uh, coming in here I'm just gonna cover up this floor uh, we can just do it in anything really I'm gonna give it a little bit of texture really fast there we go something simple like this now to separate each room or each level each floor uh, this is where I have it set up so right above this trapdoor the next one I'm gonna go ahead and put a slab and for this one you can use any slab you can use wood you can use uh, the, the blackstone I'm gonna go with the regular polished blackstone uh, bricks and it's gonna put them right at this level so right above this one one two three one two three then one and two and then you can have a ladder uh, really anywhere to get up so this would be the spot and then we could do another one right here on the top one two three one two and three maybe one and two, and we could take it all the way up in one ladder, or you could change it up and maybe switch the ladder to another direction. It really is up to you guys how you wanna set it up. Uh, for in here, let me grab a quick lantern. Let's just put this down really quick. Uh, we can knock down some spots here so you could put our furnaces. So right where this section is, let's just knock all these out. So this will be one level, and this will be the other one right there. So then we can add a bunch of furnaces in here. Now the way I have this set up, I have a mix. So I have some regular furnaces on the bottom, 
on one side. And then we have smokers, one and two, one and two. And then I went ahead and put some upside down stairs to give it a little bit of detail. On this side, I have, again, two more furnaces on the bottom. And I use this one for blast furnaces right there. You can stack it all the way to the top if you want. But for that detail, I just went for some upside down stairs right there. And then I went ahead and added some crimson stem in here just to get some lighting from the roof. So right here, I counted one, two, three. On the third one, I'm going to go one, two, three back. And then I'm going to do the same thing over here. So one, two, three. On the third one, I'm going to go one, two, and three back. Drop some lights over here. And then I wrap these in the crimson trap door on each side just to give a little bit of color. You can also use the dark oak like we've been using on the other side. But I think this just looks pretty cool. And we just hang some lights here from the top. But that is it. That's all there is to it. Let's take a little bit of a spin around here. Let me show you what I did on the interior. Again, I made this very, very basic. You can add more things to it, take stuff away, get some inspiration, and even expand from this. So if you guys do, send me pictures. I would love to see these in your world. But let's take a little bit of a walk around here. So as you come on in, we've got these lovely, awesome striders here just hanging out here. You know, I'm sitting on this so nice. They're trembling a little bit. They're a little shaky, but that's cool. That's just that part of their personality. They're awesome. Uh, but also adding uh, a little bit of the magma blocks on the bottom gives them a little bit of a, a homey feel okay also add a little bit of the basalt blocks on the bottom twisted and uh going upwards and also sideways like that a little bit of the soul uh sand over here the soul soil and the soul sand over here added some of the crimson root some of the crimson nylium uh, uh how do i say crimson nylium i said it right uh, and then also some coarse dirt uh we have uh our trusty old warp fungus on a stick on the side for easy access as well uh also over here added some trap doors you can add those two of the dark oak up against these uh windows windows and then you can add more details here uh, if you want you can add bushes you can add all kinds of things and this doesn't have to be in the nether it could be in the overworld too uh, you can add a lot more uh, uh, overworld uh, touches to it as well with like bushes tall grass ferns and stuff like that now let's go on the inside i have a very very basic though uh coming inside we just have a little bit of the chisel over here we have also some of the crossbows and some of the soul fire lanterns i made this very bastion-y though like this could be a bastion you never know uh because it's very basic over here we have ourselves a little bit of a workstation on this side uh we got a wither skeleton also over here we got uh just some storage right there uh and we have a stone cutter for the the carpet just a great carpet here on the bottom and then over here a bunch of gold over here we have full blocks of gold we also have the gold uh, nether ore on the side and you can do all your smelting over here on this end or you can do some cooking over here on this end uh, up here we have a couple little bit of extra storage on the top here some wart fungus right there and then we have our hanging lights here on the top which looks really really cool uh, as you come up here the ladder we take this up to this level a little bit of an armory section we can put a bunch of storage on this side also our trusty gold armor that we're going to need in the nether uh, not to get beat up and then we have uh these awesome paintings over here which matches the aesthetic we need more paintings though we need, we need some nether paintings uh and then on the top here uh pretty much just a little sniper uh post over here with some crossbows some bows some full uh some soul fire lanterns and i love that look at that spectral arrow up here on the top little gold arrow and we can shoot down bad guys coming in trying to uh, you know come into our base that's fine but that's all there is to it let me know what you think of our first blackstone related 116 nether base build this is super cool super fun and very starter worthy if you can gather enough materials you could basically build this pretty quickly in the nether or even in the overworld but let me know if you guys want to see more builds of 116 blocks i'm definitely up for some more building with especially these blocks right behind me maybe some overworld stuff i got some ideas let me know what you guys think let me know what you want to see next but i'm out of here for now thank you all so much for watching i'll catch you guys on the next minecraft video goodbye